There it is! That's the good stuff. Let's just listen to this for a minute. music is amazing. This video has actually been a pretty long time coming, because ever since I saw the announcement in September, I knew I needed to play this. So now it's finally happening, and we're finally here. So we're actually gonna start right now. Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's just detach the Joy-Con. Because I know that the whole spin thing is gonna really mess us up later. Create a game file on this planet, yes. You only get those four? Weak. Just Mario then, I guess. Because I'm basic like that, you know? Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. Should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. Continue. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, Dear Mario I'll be waiting for you at the night of... Uh, for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival, there's something I'd like to give you. From Peach. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better myself. What are you doing that airplane run for? What do you got there? Are those like little shields and spears? Oh, it's gonna be easier this way, since I can move and jump and collect star bits at the same time. Look at this little toe with this little silver star bit, cutie course. Right on cue. Here's Bowser. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh? Bowser's up the ante, it seems like. Now he's gonna lift the entire castle. These toads are wearing little star capes, I never noticed that. Where'd Peach get the Luma from? Was the Luma just there? Princess Peach, you were formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. Oh, they're like her bodyguards. This festival's over. Yikes. Where did he even get that? Like, did he just contact some kind of space pirate and was like, Yo, I'll give you all these star bits for uh, a giant um, UFO. No, I don't think we can spin yet. Try not to die right off the bat, please, Mario. That would be very helpful for all of us. What if I just die right here from all the me? <laughs> Independence Day 4 Mushroom Kingdom Seriously though I don't think even The Lumas have seen technology like that Where did Bowser get this? I can't help but laugh, because this is just so ridiculous. How would this even work? Like, this just can't work. But then again, this is Nintendo logic. So now the castle is being flown up into the air. It's taking a dreadfully long time, though. I just want to play. I bet I'm going to regret that saying that, like, seven episodes from now when I'm dying constantly. <laughs> you heard it here first. The toads are just clinging on to each other for safety. Uh oh. So long, enjoy your flight. Is Comic the one piloting the UFO? Because he just came out of nowhere. 
Mario? <laughs> Are you sure you did not just suffer, like, a brain injury just now? In normal circumstances, he could have easily avoided that. Well, okay. You're chirping. Yo, you lazy. Get up. <laughs> How long have I been here? Three days? Three weeks? It's impossible to tell. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. I don't... I'm usually not greeted with that in the morning. Come on, jump with B. Alright, I'm gonna get you. Okay, I figured out how to shoot star bits. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Why do I have to do that? Why can't you just tell me? Get him, boy. Got him. You caught me. Aw, oh, I know I should have hidden in the crater. You just trying to kill me now. Yeah, this Mario dude is unreliable. Maybe we should just get rid of him. That's the crater, right? Oh yeah, I found him. You are not escaping this alive. Not when Mario is on the prowl. Get over here. If I can't even catch three bunnies, then how am I going to beat this game? Answer, I can't. I should have hidden in the grass. That was very specific. There is a lot of grass here, for your information. Well, how should I know? You've been living here for the past number of years. This gravity thing is gonna boggle my mind for a while. There you are! I can't believe I let myself get caught. We did it, apparently, because I heard that little noise. Wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you can really help Mama. Wife. Mama's waiting up above. Please help her with whatever she asks. How do you know she needs help with anything? Yo, Space Wife, what's good? I have waited for this moment for so long. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. <laughs> it's so cute. I can't. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Is that just the name you gave him? I thought you named all of them, right? That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> you have the ability to spin now. Shake. You can also spin with Y. Disaster has struck us just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you. Bye, Space Wife. Shake, bat, or press Y to spin into things that look breakable. You can even spin enemies to stun them. Ooh, there we go. Alright. Now we're getting it. This is a launch star. Shake Joy-Con or press Y when you're near one to shoot through space like a comet. Now go and explore the universe. There are lots and lots of galaxies for you to discover. Fair enough. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star already for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, also, be sure not to fall into the giant entity that sucks up all light and matter. Yeah, be sure not to do that, because it probably will kill you. That's most likely not a good idea. One additional Mario. They could have just said life, but no. Yeah, I'm trying to be extra careful here. Like I said, this is the first time I've done something like this. Alright. Time to head out. Goomba. You don't even look like a Goomba. Are you sure that's a Goomba? Didn't really look like one to me. Wow. Jeez. It's not very kind of you, but... Can I... I want to save you! Mmm, is it the big Goomba? Pretty sure it's the big Goomba. I can't even- you know what, maybe when I'm defeating enemies, I'll spin with Y, but when I'm getting star bits? 
I'll spin with the Joy-Con. Because I don't think I can defeat many enemies like that. Otherwise, I'll just keep dying. Thanks, would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? I'll transform into a Sling Star. Just jump into me after I TRANSFORM! Alright, buddy. Whatever you want. Boom! My friend. Can, can, can I save you too? Spain enemies! Then run into them when they're stunned to boost them. I'm pretty sure I learned that already. But thanks. So the ends of those things are electric. I can't collect star bits at the moment? How can I get these star bits up here if I can't use the pointer? Alright, that didn't make any sense. Hurry, down here! Alright. Even though I know what you're about to do to me. Oh. We've been waiting for you. That's a Grand Star. We have to save it. We're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. We'll have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. You can't risk running into an electrical current. Turn off the flip switches. Okay, I get it. I've been doing that. How many more switches do I have to turn off? I've just been running around. Oh wait, I I did it, I guess. Give me. I got a grand star. That's pretty neat though. It is time to see the space wife once again. How are you, my friend? We are here. Let's power up this thing. Wait, that hold on. No, never mind. It sounded like something else. When the Grand Star hit the middle of the ship, it sounded like when Sonic bumps into something. I don't know. Is that just me or... Terrace! It is open. First star. 32 star bits. It's not bad. Okay, I get it. What's up? The way Mario walks. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly. Maybe it's only as bright as a class 6 star, but at least the poor Lumens will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home and also home to the Lumens. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits on our power source, Power Stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the Power Stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please. In other words, we're doomed. Please, I have a request. <laughs> this observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. Oh, you mean a telescope? And there's a chance we can use our free remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. The only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one, the terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the common observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves that ran off with the power stars. <laughs> yeah, I... I... How do I save my game? Yeah. The game has been saved. Thanks. Now I can detach the Joy-Cons again and get going. We're probably only gonna do one or two more galaxies before we call it quits for right now. But what do all these Lumas have to say? This is the Comet Observatory. Look, you should go to the terrace first. Please rescue the power stars and the galaxies you see there. Yeah, alright, I'm going, I'm going. Welcome. This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a pole star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your at the pole star and press A. If you lose sight of the 
You can reset it with R. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can just tap the star directly on the screen. This is my friend here, Bluey. Ooh, full star. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you will be able to travel. That makes sense. A new galaxy appeared. What is it? Good egg! I'm a good egg. Get this! If the Comet Observatory doesn't have enough power stars, how can they track anything? Can the Lumas just sense this stuff? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna be humming the whole time, you know it. Gotta get my, uh, bearings here. Because this is all so new and exciting. Oh, here we are. Okay, some this is somewhere secret. It looks like, um, some kind of... It's the dark side of Good Egg Galaxy. The dark side galaxy that the media doesn't want you to know about. I mean, Good Egg Galaxy, what am I saying? I did say Good Egg Galaxy, right? I'm not losing my mind. Coin. Oh, I forgot I can't pick that up with the, um spin or whatever what's in here I bet this playthrough is gonna take a lot longer than it should because you know I like to explore just like every little secret and every little hidden corner oh, I really like this music too It's a bop. It's like the pipe interior music, right? And my efforts were for nothing. Okay, time to go back. Okay, what what did that say? If you get tired and want to return to the observatory, but you can't bring back any star bits you picked up, so be careful. Why can't I? My friends are ahead, hurry. I'm apparently in- my camera is apparently in front of a Joy-Con tutorial. Yeah, it's star chip time. Hopefully I- no, mud? I didn't see that. Oh, no, 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 not fun, not fun, not fun. Not a good time. We are not having a good time. There's one! Okay, just gotta- Not- Die! Easier said than done. Can I just like vibe here until I find them? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. I died! I died. Very first galaxy. See, I told you. I told you, and I'm gonna keep telling you I stink at this. So you better be prepared for me to die a lot. Because after all, I am not an expert. And I will never be an expert. But I can have fun. Please do not kill me. Oh, thank goodness. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please, please, please. Oh, I have one life. This is not going to be good. Um. Oh, this better not be. Star bits. I don't need those. I need a, a vine. Alright, that's neat. More rocks? That was uncalled for. <sighs> Guess I said that premature. I'm planning on this to be a series. So if I keep forgetting, just remind me. Oh, those are where the rocks come from? Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh. Oh, I got him. Alright. Letting you know right now, sometimes I can be very stupid with my decisions. Hi, Luma. Can I talk to you? Watch out! After you spin once, you will have to wait until your Luma comes back before you can spin again. 
That makes sense, yeah. So I can't just endlessly spin, otherwise that would be cheating. I need more coins, please. I don't want to die here. Hey, look at that! Just my luck. Alright, let's just keep going before I die again. Alright. Launch star. Let's go. Where am I going now? Oh no! We're at the- we're at the- with the boss already? I feel like that should have been a lot longer in between. I don't know, maybe because this is just the first galaxy they're going easy on me. Then again, no video game ever goes easy on me. So I wouldn't necessarily agree with that statement. Oh great, I'm gonna die. Awesome. Alright, that's a one hit. Now we angry. Please do not kill me. I don't want to die today. That would not be ideal. Can't catch up with him. This boy is just too fast. Let's try going around. Oh my goodness. He's shaking the desk. So I can't roll! Okay, I got it a second time. That only took, you know... That only took a little while. But, this will be over in a minute. Okay, did I get it? I think I got it. I did it! I am a gamer! In a game that was clearly meant for kids. I suck! What's that neat little pole star doing there? Oh, that was the observatory one. I'm stupid. But I got that. Dino Piranha, good egg galaxy. Thank you. Thank you for being such a kind and merciful game to a non gamer like me. Those are star bits. Tulumas, they are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. What do star bits taste like? I'm imagining that star bits taste like those little Kanpeido things, like in Japan. You know those little star candies? I'm thinking they taste like that. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can also collect star bits by tapping them directly on the screen. Once you have some, shoot them by aiming with star and pressing Z. Alright, that's cool. Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some star bits. Mmm, tasty. Let's call those little morsels my feet for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I am sure Starbus will be a big help on your adventure. And I think that's where we're going to end for today. So, I hope this was a very riveting, non-gamer playthrough. And I hope I can die as Mario more. So, I will see you later. And... I will keep shooting this Luma until you subscribe. It's just your little reminder there. So, yes. Goodbye now.